Halo Infinite's progression system, battle pass, and store are utterly atrocious. Uh, the progression system is so bad that players don't have an actual military rank. Think about that. Max Oberman developed that system back in Halo 2 and it evolved in Halo 3 just for us to not have one in Halo Infinite. That's sad. It's, it's honestly, it's pretty disappointing if you ask me. However, there's plenty of room for improvement. Ideally, I'd like these improvements to happen and to happen as soon as possible. Realistically, I just don't see some of these changes happening. If you guys like the changes that I'm suggesting or have any suggestions of your own, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to get a discussion going. So without further ado, let's go, bros. What I'm about to say can be really, really difficult for some people to understand, but stay with me on this. Microsoft, the publisher of all Xbox titles, owns 343 Industries, who is the developer of Halo. So what does that mean? What this means is that any decision that 343 makes has to be given a green light by Microsoft. 343 can't make their own decision and then put that decision out in the game. So for example, if 343 wanted to lower the cost of microtransactions in Halo Infinite, they would have to go to Microsoft and say, hey, we'd like to lower the cost of uh, the microtransactions in this game. We need your approval to do so. And here's our plan. If the plan isn't good enough for Microsoft, then they're denying it. And then 343 is back to the drawing board. So what this means is that we have Microsoft telling 343, you have to come up with a system that guarantees us money. And I'm sure there were a lot of back and forth meetings between these two. And Microsoft was like, ah, we don't like that. It's not gonna, I don't think that'll make us enough. And then 343 is like, okay. And then they go back to the drawing board and so on and so forth. So in conclusion, 343 has to do what they say. 343 just makes the games. Hidden Xperia made a fantastic comment in a video talking about Halo Infinite's microtransactions. Luke said, I honestly really feel for the artists and developers who worked on all of this armor because they clearly put so much love and effort into these pieces of armor, the new ones and the returning ones. And all they're probably seeing right now is everybody raging about how they're unlocked through paying for them over actually fawning over how good they look. This is spot on because 343 is at the mercy of Microsoft. That's just how it goes, man. It's the same thing for the Call of Duty devs. And for everyone that's been telling me and is going to tell me in the comments of this video that, oh, well, Microsoft doesn't do microtransactions like this in their other Microsoft games. I don't give a fuck. This is Halo. This is the face of Xbox. All rules are thrown out the door when it comes to Halo. We saw it with Halo 5. Loot boxes for customization in Halo. The most bare bones customization without having a customization option. It doesn't matter when it comes to Halo. And I don't understand why people haven't gotten that through their heads in six years. And to be honest, if you really think that Microsoft has absolutely no say in any of the stuff that gets put out, then you're as naive as Amelia from ReZero. So now that that's out of the way, here's a way to improve the store. Number one, I think that the prices should be lowered in the a Halo Infinite store. I mean, they're really expensive at the moment. And I know the game's free to play, but that's not an excuse. Not only that, but I think that there should be a catalog for everything that you can buy in the store at all times. Obviously, when new events come out, you just add to the catalog. It would just be a lot easier instead of having this whole like, oh, this is only available for X amount of time. It's like, that sucks. Like, stop doing this. The whole let's make this limited time crap isn't the right move. So, you know, as you guys can tell from what I just said, it's like the limited time events. Why limit what modes we can play at all times? More game modes and playlists means there's something for everybody. But yes, there should be a permanent game mode and we should have playlists that are available in regular multiplayer and they just addressed this the other day so when i was writing this the announcement for the playlists in multiplayer was not announced limited items may work in the store for other games like fortnite and call of duty and things like that but halo has a tradition of customization that is unlike call of duty fortnite apex all the all that other stuff it's true and anyone who's like oh no it doesn't yes yes it does like when you look at it when have you ever been able to freely freely customize your character in call of duty you haven't you'd either have to grind supply drops or whatever and i think a lot of the people that are talking about the free customization are people from my era which was halo 3 and halo reach and i guess halo 4 as well where you were grinding challenges and doing things to unlock the armor that you wanted 
and that's how it should be you should be able to grind your armor and freely customize your spartan in whatever way that you please i really don't like the armor cores the armor cores and i said this before launch but the armor cores are really fucking dumb especially when bots can kind of mix and match their armor no matter what core they're wearing that's just one of those things where i think that they're going to end up fixing that um but at the same time i don't really know if they will because it's one of the main monetization features and i just don't i don't really know but speaking of cores i bought the fanatic skin for uh the halo hts yeah i bought envy and i bought the fanatic skin because as you guys know my logo is black and orange normally i rock white and orange but you know uh, i figured because the fanatic skin looks so dope that i would i would rock black and orange and there is no white and orange in the store or anything right now because we can't customize our colors i really dislike how you can't mix and match those hcs skins for example if i wanted to rock the fanatic helmet but wanted to rock the blue arm for envy or like the black and blue arm for envy i can't do that and i think that's so stupid if you buy multiple hcs skins you should be able to mix and match those skins that's just how i feel about it now i know that they have to make money so like i said there should be a balance between the two give us a catalog and honestly there should be a catalog for each armor piece there shouldn't be a catalog for like one set another set another set like no there should be a catalog for each armor piece i know it takes a lot of work to do this probably you know but the thing about that is they'll get more money if they don't do that if they bundle it up they'll get more money because if someone sees a helmet that they really want but they don't really care, care about the shoulder pads they'll end up just buying the helmet instead and they'll pay 20. and from a business perspective i understand that but i don't think it's right i feel like everyone has reached the same consensus on how the store should operate besides the whales and when i say whales i mean people who just buy whatever and they don't really care because they're fine with paying you know money because the game's free to play now let's move on to the progression system and the battle pass so when i wrote this originally at the time of writing this 343 has improved the xp progression for the battle pass unishek announced that on november 30th the progression system will be as follows your first game is guaranteed 300 xp second game is 200 xp third game is 200 xp fourth fifth and sixth game is guaranteed 100 xp for each game and then seventh game on is 50 xp per game in my opinion it's not where it should be but it's a step in the right direction also side note the XP that you get per match doesn't include the challenges you're completing either. So on top of the default XP that you get per match, you'll also be able to get more XP by completing the challenges. In conclusion, I leveled up my battle pass four times within two days or twice per day after playing about 10 to 12 matches. My first level came because of XP per game, and then the second level came mainly from the challenges I completed. The system is far better than the original, but it still needs improvement. We need a social and global rank for our Spartans and for our, you know, gamer tags and things like that. And right now, the only progression system is the battle pass. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This shit gotta change. <laughs> this shit has to change. I know 343 are looking into this and we'll probably get an actual ranking system later down the line. But in my opinion, I think 343 should bring back the Halo 3 military rank system. Halo 3's military rank system was simple and easy to follow. It was plus one if you got a win zero for a loss and minus one if you quit or disconnected does it depend on your teammates in a way yeah it does but sometimes that happens you can't just give xp and rank up all the time you can't just get shit for free and i know that sounds pretty bad like me saying you can't have shit for free but there could be an alternative to where for your social rank if we were to do like the halo 3 system you could do 0.1 xp for every kill medal that you get so say you get two double kills a triple kill a killing spree and say like a kill joy or an assassination or something like that, or a ninja, you would get 0.5 XP for all three or, or those, that's five, all five of those medals. It's, it's gotta be a balance. For me, the Halo 3 and Halo Reach, mainly Halo 3 system is where my bread and butter is. Like, that's what I love. But, you know, it's really upon your preference. The last thing I would do for the battle pass is to get rid of some of the XP and challenge swaps and replace them with credits that we can use to get the armor in the store or the battle pass i know that there are no credits in the battle pass because it kind of forces you to go buy the credits and that's how they're making money but you have to offer both you have to offer both in order for your fans and your community to stay on the game every other game does this i don't want to see the player count drop by a hundred thousand within two months because they're not making the right moves and then after they put the credits in the battle pass i think that 343 and microsoft should come to an agreement where classic armors 
aren't in the store all the time. So for those of you that don't know, there was like that leak of the $1,000 you'd have to spend in the store in order to get everything. And I think one of those pieces of armor was the shoulders of Carter. In my personal opinion, I think that if you're going to put out pieces of armor in the store, they should be brand new armor. Don't put old school armor in the store. That's not, that's one of the things that I don't think is ever going to happen, but that's just my opinion on it. I don't really like the classic armor in the store. I understand you have to bait some people with armor in order to make money, and it's a marketing strategy, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. If they make new helmets that look badass, people will buy them, plain and simple. But if they make new helmets and pieces of armor that suck and people don't like, people won't buy it. That's just how it works. Do I think any of my suggestions will happen? Honestly, I don't really know. I think the prices might come down a little bit, but it's a long shot. 313 and Microsoft have to really go over everything and have to have multiple meetings back and forth in order to solve everything. It pretty much comes down to Microsoft giving 343 the green light to do whatever they want, which they did with MCC. But if they had monetized MCC, people would have had an outrage after how the game shipped and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.